Definitely, we are going to hear and be challenged by the following quote, which I, I love. Wise counsel for good leaders to become great leaders. Please welcome Mr. Rene Carayo. Welcome. Thank you very much. So look, before I ever take on an assignment with any business, I ask for 30 minutes just sitting in your reception. Just give me 30 minutes sitting in your reception. It tells me everything about the prevailing culture. How do you behave? What's the level of collaborate, potential collaboration in here? What do you stand for? How performance driven are you? Are you values led? I picked up the diversity thing. Diverse is a mega opportunity for you. It's a huge opportunity. We're lucky enough to work with some of the best organizations around the world. If we're not reflecting the customers we serve, then we're missing an opportunity. There's a massive talent pool of talent out there. Massive. 51% of the world's talent is female. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? These are all opportunities. These are huge. <laughs> these are huge opportunities. I wouldn't be embarrassed about it. I'd just jump to the opportunity. When the market's really tough, the competition may be a little bit more agile. They may have a little bit more flexibility than you. They might even be able to compete a little better on price. You've got the mega brand. You've got clear strategy. But I put it to you, the opportunity is people, culture, leadership. That's where you're going to make the essential difference. And in transformative times, what an opportunity. And when I say leadership for the avoidance of doubt, I mean you in the room. You are the leadership. If this is going to transform and you're going to win, it's going to be down to you. There's no them, there's no they, it's you. And this is where the rubber hits the road. You're not the recipient of strategy, you are the executioners of strategy. There's no one but you. This is the top of the organization. If you're going to win, it's down to you. If you don't, it's down to you. It's impossible. In today's fast-moving world, hugely competitive, innovation happening everywhere, but most of all, unforgiving markets. Those at the front line, which you called execution, sometimes have the answers, sometimes have the initiatives, sometimes have the ideas. Whoever's closest to the customer has brilliant initiatives to bring to the organization. How good are you at that interactive dialogue up and down the organization? How good are you at listening to the voices on the front line? How good are you at engaging with those who are the doers and may not be seen historically as the thinkers? What we're seeing with the best of the best, traditionally, many organizations used to support up and challenge down. Today, from the best, we're seeing them challenge up and support down. There was a time when we served the leader. Today, the leader serves the people. In progressive organizations, the leaders are there to serve. Until the lions have their own story, the tales of the hunt will always glorify the hunter. What's your story? What's your story? Leaders tell stories, managers talk strategy. What's your story? I want to be part of something special. What do we stand for? What's our narrative? What's our story? <laughs>